All right, so for the final video on this quick crash course in Google Classroom, what I wanted to share with you is just some general housekeeping tips. First, you can change your theme or upload a custom photo for your class right here. And it's a really quick, easy thing that you can do just to kind of give your class a little bit different of an appearance. So there's a nice one, it's blue. Um, it'll kind of change some of the things here and you can see all the different things that have now changed on my screen with that. Next, I wanna show you just the general settings thing. So here you can change any class details. If something changes or you wanna add a different description, you can do that. You can also get access quickly to that class code and be able to disable it if you find that people are joining that should not be joining your classroom. Next, you have this option here for stream. Students can post and comment. Students can only comment or only teachers can post or comment. Now those different things are really, really kind of different on what you're trying to do. So this is in that stream. Students will be able to send you private comments throughout this, and that's a quick way for them to connect with you in a nice, easy way. But here we can do, like students could post something um, and, and then kind of bring that up and, and comment on it. We can have it so that students can comment on different assignments or different posts that you make. So that's it. there's a benefit to that. There's a time and place for that. And then there's also only teachers can post or comment, and there's also a time and place for that as well. So that's kind of there. And also in the settings menu, you have your grade calculation options. And again, that will not sync with PowerSchool, but it does kind of um, give you some options on here and a quick way to kind of self-assess and do a quick check on who's completing work and who's not in Google Classroom. So once we're out of that, I wanna just kind of show a couple different things. We changed the theme, We I showed you that thing. If I go into classwork, I have two different options up here that we didn't talk about last time. Google Calendar will give us an option to share a calendar with other people that gives the due dates and timelines for different things that you're working on in this class, which could be really, really helpful. If you click and follow that link, you can share that link with your parents then, and they should be able to kind of see those different things to be able to help hold their students accountable. Next, you have the class drive folder. Now that's gonna be a folder where everything that you post and everything that's turned into you goes to that folder. So it's a really kind of nice way for us to, to keep our drive organized and keep everything there for future reference. So hopefully that kind of covers a lot of the different things with Google Classroom. I just want to talk about the grades page. This will show you basically who's completed things and who hasn't, what they've completed and what they haven't for quick check. Obviously there's no students in this class and there's no assignments that have been done. So it's not really going to be there for you. But once you start going, go ahead and check in that and see what you have and what you um, might be able to, um, to, to quickly gain from it. So thanks for tuning in with this quick series on Google Classroom. If you have further questions, please don't hesitate to ask or reach out to us um, in the tech department. Have a wonderful rest of your day.